Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome back. Toys is here, and today got a little something different for you. The holiday season is finally upon us. It's nice and cold outside, and well, who am I kidding? It's 100 plus degrees out here in California, so I thought it'd be really cool to do a Christmas in July and take a look at Fresh Monkey Fiction's Naughty or Nice collection. Starting off with one cool looking zombie Santa Claus. As you can kind of see, naughty or nice. Pick your adventure. You're going to go more for the naughty or the nice, right? Nice packaging overall. It's very much just Marvel Legends boxes with Christmas's packaging, right? Fresh Monkey Fiction on the side right there. And on the back side, you get to see all the various variants for this naughty or nice collection. You can screen grab this if you want to read up on it. And like I said, this one belongs to old zombie Santa Claus with all these other ones being available as well. So very cool looking figure if you ask me. Now, next up, we're gonna go a little bit more the other side of Christmas, right? So we have Krampus as Santa Claus, which again, the choices for all of these is quite endearing. I actually am having a blast with these. As you'll soon see, these are these are quite fun figures, right? Nice and cool for a hot summer, especially with a robotic Santa Claus, a Terminator Santa Claus, if you will. And on the back side again, you can see Mall Santa, Pirate Santa, sky's the limit with all the Santas, right? But classic, of course, will be best. So very excited to check this one out. Of course, same exact packaging, yada, yada. Not only do they have these six inch type figures, but they also have three and three quarter inch figures to go along with these. So this is like the elf pack. This is Betty the elf. So she's more on the nice side of things, right? Again, like I said, choose what you want to go with. You can read up on old Betty the elf right here. Awesome. I really like that they kind of incorporated three and three quarter inch with the whole six inch scale, right? Fred of the elf, Jack the Frost the elf, evil elves. And you got robot nutcrackers to boot, all right? I mean, like I said, Christmas, sky's the limits, all kinds of nutcrackers you could pick up, but we got robots today. So, in either case, this is gonna be an absolute blast of cold air, hopefully. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice iced cup of coffee, right? Nothing else in it, just keep it black and ice. Light ice, this is a look at Fresh Monkey Fiction's Naughty or Nice line, so let's check them out. And of course, while I got all you holiday humbugs here, I've got my list out and I'm checking it twice, but in the meantime, you could possibly consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like Christmas in July. I mean, who else is crazy enough to do that, right? Now, we're gonna kick it off with the three and three quarter inch figures. So again, we got robotic nutcrackers and Betty the Elf, but she does come with several head portraits, as well as a gift-wrapped package, which opens up. It's a very standard Christmas box. The paint could be a little bit better on this one, but you do get a candy cane, which is, of course, a staple of the Xmas times. You get Betty herself, and what I like about this is that you have multiple head portraits, and you can swap out the hats so you can have a cone hat, you can have a standard Santa hat, which is in green, or you can just go pure evil and go with this guy. He's got a wild look in his eye, he's got a yellow gleam. He's definitely on the naughty list, that's for sure. But I like the colors they got going on. Nice candy cane striped tights, greens, reds, and again, you can go from cone head if you want. See how it just simply pops right off. That's the beauty of this line, as you'll see throughout this video. They've really thought ahead with mixing and matching and customizing and doing all these swappable parts. It's pretty cool. Head articulates, you can pop that off, switch it out for the girl. And again, swap the hats, the arms, the wrists, those work. So it's not exactly 5 POA. You get a little bit more articulation to it. Just kind of go easy with the wrists at first. She'll kick out, nothing at the boots, nothing like that, nothing at the waist. But still, it's a pretty cool looking three and three quarter inch action figure that goes with the larger Santa Clauses. Now, over on the robotic Nutcracker, he does come with a drum. Of course, them Nutcrackers like to be drumming. 
nicely painted of course he comes with an axe by which the hand is still attached right so i'll show you how that really just swaps out you get a hand that's attached to a sword i actually like that i've been saying that more and more in videos sculpt the weapons and accessories into the hands you get some mallets to drum right those are in and like i said you, you just simply pull the hands off go really easy you'll figure it out some can be kind of cumbersome to get out at first but the actual robotic nutcracker is pretty darn cool i gotta say and i love that he has the lever in the back which when you move it up and down it makes his teeth chatter he doesn't come with any nuts to crack but I'm sure if you're at home, you can figure it out for yourself. There's not a whole heck of a lot of articulation in this guy, but for what he has, it's perfect for a nutcracker, right? The arms, the not so much the wrist. No, the hands itself will not spin, but you can kick his legs out and you can do the whole nutcracker march, right? Nutcracker ballet, whatever you want to do. But I like it. The paint is very nice on this guy. You can pull the little belt piece out, and as I say, the paint is really great i scratched it with my fingernail when i was trying to get the belt piece out so be very careful with yours and you can insert the drum right there put the drumming arms on and you got yourself a robotic drumming nutcracker and you kind of just tilt the little mallet to one side it's cool you got the teeth chatter and he's singing along this is actually a lot of fun now one thing i did notice is that with some of the hands especially the ones with the weapons the swords and whatnot they can be very loose, right? When you have them in certain positions, no, it's really not going to affect the figure, but it's not a tight a grip as, let's say, the arms when they're down and whatnot. So be careful. Don't chip the paint when you're trying to get the belt out. That was my bad, but overall, it's a pretty solid lineup. I like the robotic nutcracker, and I definitely like the elf. They're nice little additions to your naughty or nice collection i really like that you can customize the heck out of these with all the different parts and pieces now over on the santa claus end we got four of these big old mamma jammas to look at but i'm only going to show you the articulation on one of them but we'll kick it off with krampus now krampus comes with a list it's got all kinds of gibberishy names scribbled on there it's like a parchment paper it's actually really nice it's nicely done it's got a little bit of weathering to it there's a lot to it than just here's an accessory so i definitely appreciate that he also does come with a stocking you can't stuff the stocking unfortunately but you can hang said stocking if you like it's got a nice wash green nice texturing too along with a black wrapped package of course because krampus is evil or whatever it's supposed to be and just like the elves yes you can open it up and you can store parts and pieces from these. Well, they, they come with little tiny pieces, much like this coal. So you get three pieces of coal stuck together. It's fairly simple. You get the idea. But don't lose it, of course, and you can keep it inside this box for safekeeping. Or maybe you got someone you'd like to give it to. Now, every single figure will come with this white stand. It says naughty or nice on there. It's got two pegs on it. And it really does keep them aloft. No problems whatsoever. It looks nice. Krampus is a lot of fun. These figures, just to save you some time, you don't want to watch the whole video, these are a lot of fun. The sculpts are tremendous. Got to give it to them. Everything is painted very nicely. The Santa suit. Now, the Santa suit is going to go largely for every single figure, but there'll be tweaks here and there. Like, he'll have hands that correspond to him along with a tail, Whereas the other Santas have a little bit of a plug. How do I say this? Around the butt area? <laughs> Just keep that in mind. But for the Krampus figure, you get a tail and you get inserted and you get some articulation. But I love the eyes. The tongue is hanging out. The hands are really cool. The only problem I would say that I kind of ran into is because the hands are open, you don't have more of closed hands. You can't really hold the accessories perfectly. But overall, the shading on the costume, the tail, the hands, the boots, it's got little buckles right there that are all painted. He's got peg holes on the bottom. It's awesome. This is very well done, and I'm very happy to have such weird action figures on my shelf. But again, like I said, I wish that he came with extra hands just so you could hold the accessories just a little bit better. Now, 
given, let's say, the list, right? You can get him to hold it. You kind of have to figure it out, have the fingers run up against the backside of it. You get the idea. But for the most part, it's a pretty cool home run. Definitely sinister cool. Now, moving on, we're going to go a little bit more crazy, right? So we have zombie Santa Claus. He, too, comes with some coal, right? It's very simplistic. He comes with a purple package, which is kind of jokerized in a way, right? We're kind of been on that. Opens up, closes. You get the idea. Put the coal in there. He comes with a plate, two cookies, and a glass of black milk. And I got to say, that's pretty darn cool, right? The cookies are... Fairly simplistic, but you get the idea. You get the cup with the black milk in there, and the milk come out, so he drank the milk. You know what I mean? They've thought of everything. This, this is fun. Again, you can hear the fun in my voice. You got the plate. Everything's removable. You can toss it around. You got the bottom side of the plate. Each of these figures, for the most part, come with hands that can hold this pretty darn good, so it's a home run, right? He also comes with alternate hands. Now, because... I got Holiday on the brain, right? I'm thinking like, oh, is this this is the human before he turned into a zombie? No. <laughs> he does come with an axe, right? And this is really well done, nicely textured. It's kind of all beaten up. It's an old axe. It's pretty darn cool. So to head back to the idea that this was a guy before, no, what they've done is given you an axe-wielding maniac Santa... Like, something out of American Horror Story and old EC Comics, right? That is awesome. It's beautifully painted. And then you get the naughty or nice along with the creepy, terrifying-looking zombie Santa Claus. And what I really appreciate about this is that it's kind of, again, like an old-fashioned horror comics-looking zombie. He's just gross enough, but I gotta tell you, if they ever do another zombie one, go more disgusting. More blood. He has really cool soiled, blood-stained... Santa suit it's a lot more muted it's definitely not red there's yellow little elements to it it's gross really cool shading brings this to life like it is worn he's decrepit he's decaying this is a lot of fun he's got the zombie hands right he's green he's the green zombie he's got blood dripping out of his mouth part of his lips are gone sunken eyes nose has been bitten off i mean what else could you ask for for the holiday season right you could pull the cap off that's a nice little touch it's a bit of a squeezy hat right nice and rubbery you get to see his golden dead locks all the way around right because his head's all been rotten so that's cool so hat on hat off it's up to you the hands outstretched very zombie like right like he's lurching forward he needs some brains that actually would have been a cool accessory. You should have given Santa some brains. That would have been cool, right? Brains. Or axe murderer. And I got to tell you, as much as I love the zombie, I kind of like the axe murderer one better. He's terrifying. This is a freaky look. At, like, this is a real guy, right? This is, ugh, this is awful. It's just awesome, right? You can remove the hat, take the hat off. He's just sinister. He's creepy. It's an awesome figure right now moving on we got this guy right here the terminator santa he comes with the exact same list he gets a pump action shotgun i wish you could actually pump it that would have been a nice touch it's fairly simplistic but it's an all black shotgun right he comes with a gift it's red and green this time you can open the box yada yada you get the idea and you get this really cool alternate head where all the flesh has been ripped off the top part of the face and he's left with nothing but you get the idea, right? Not your nice stand and a robotic Santa with the red eyes and part of his face has been blown off and he's got robotic hands. This is fun. Imagine just anything and everything you could do with Santa Claus, right? And they have done it here now again this is going to be again the more basic suit there's not a whole lot of changes i would have appreciated maybe some more mechanical parts on the mechanical santa that would have been kind of cool maybe you could take a part off and see like a robotic heart or something like that but i like the blown off part of the face right here i think that that's a nice balance you got all the way off and then you got a half part face which is perfect for a robot right the hands really make it but if you want to swap them it's easy peasy, of course. And actually, I can go either way with the head portraits. This is one of those where they're both really fun, but this one kind of takes the cake, I think, for me. You slap the hat back on him, 
and boom, there you go. Give him the shotgun. Now, one thing about the shotgun, though, is that it can be kind of loose in his hands, right? And you can't exactly get the other hand because of the articulation over to kind of hold it with two hands. Is that a problem? It might be for some, especially when taking photos. So later down the road, if you could kind of make that a thing with the articulation, that would be very cool. Now, let's let's forget all the monsters and craziness and we're just going to go Classic Santa. So you got red and green package for Classic Santa. You got the adorable milk and cookies here, right? The milk comes out. There's no black milk. There's no green cookies. Everything is traditional this time around. Everything's nice. Let's go very easy. Don't drop anything, right? So let's see. <laughs> Once you get it going, everything falls apart. Very nicely done, though. You get some alternate hands. Again, nothing evil, nothing zombie. It's just flesh colored hands and they're nicely done you of course get the same type of list through and through same name same everything each one kind of comes with the same parts after a while but i like this winky face for santa claus he's got a little rosy cheeks he's kind of got a more yellowed beard right which i kind of like it's very old-fashioned original santa right from what the 1920s 30s 40s something around that time he's the coca-cola santa we'll just call him that and he's winking you get the naughty or nice stand and then you get one epic looking santa claus so for those of you that are out there that go i love christmas figures i don't want zombies i don't want robots i don't want krampus well here you go here's a standard six inch santa claus action figure and he's pretty cool again Take the hat off. You get to see his bald head. He's very nicely painted. He does come with a pointer finger hand. Though that's awesome too, right? You can point at everybody like, you get a gift, and you get a gift, and you get coal. Now, the arms, the articulation, everything on this guy. You're not going to get a whole heck of a lot of movement out of the head because of his big old beard. But you can spin it, and you can kind of look off to the side. His big old coats around the collar kind of will impede it a little bit but at least you get a little bit of movement out of it it's enough for me the arms they'll go out about that much they'll go all the way up about that much right nice articulation nothing had to heat up by the way either that's cool you'll spin at the elbow single jointed elbows and then of course you got some wrist spin and rock and you get the idea now he does have that big bowl full of jelly for a gut right Gets a little bit gampy if you go up too high, but that's if you go up way too high. But he does have a semblance of an ab crunch. Nice movement in the waist. The belt, nothing gets in the way. The legs are actually pretty funny, right? When I kind of first did this, I was like, oh, oh, did I break? And I go, oh, no, there's a slit down the side so that if you want to get Santa Claus doing the splits, like maybe he's doing a Matrix pose, you can do that. He'll spin at the single jointed knee, and he does have thigh swivel as well. This is pretty cool. He's got ankle rock that goes up, down, left, right, side to side. No buckles get in the way, nothing like that. It's pretty well articulated for a bigger type, fatter type character. Totally dig that. You can swap the heads if you like with the winky face. I do like the wink, right? Don't get me wrong, but once it was kind of on, I was like, mm, yeah, I kind of want more. So I kind of like the classic face. More so than the wink, but hey, it works both ways. Now, you do get the milk and cookies. He holds that really well. Krampus can hold his stocking. <laughs> Maybe Krampus is going to come with a few more accessories, but you got the Robo Santa with the shotgun. He looks all nice and evil. And then I'm telling you, besides the classic Santa Claus, the zombie and the serial killer axe wielding murderer Santa Claus is the best. It's a lot of fun. These are all a lot of fun. Pick your poison. There are so many more other ones, but this is a nice little schmattering, right, of Santa Clauses. So you can incorporate the three and three quarter inch figures. They actually go really well. The sculpts translate well. There's no differentiation where you're like, yeah, does this really fit? You can build out your entire world of naughty or nice Christmas figures, and that's really an awesome feat, I have to say. Now, for those of you wondering... Well, Santa Claus is a real Marvel figure, right? Is he going to go with Marvel Legends? Yeah, this will fit with Marvel Legends. I like the classic Santa to kind of go with the Marvel Legends. You can have Doctor Doom and Iron Man and Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. All of them will fit. So definitely good for your Marvel Legends collection. What about DC Multiverse? 
yeah, that'll actually work as well because he's a little bit squattier than a Batman, right? But I really think the axe-wielding one is someone that you would actually see in Gotham City. So he nailed it. That's amazing. Also, maybe Nekatoys, TMNT, Robot Santas, Krampus Santas. Yeah, I could see that fitting in the Mirage universe for TMNT. But I got to tell you, if you have yourself a little Coca-Cola bottle and you got the classic Santa Claus, well, that just makes you feel all warm inside. So I definitely love the classic one most of all. So that will wrap it up for my look at the new naughty and nice action figure line by Fresh Monkey Fiction that did come out last December. But hey, it's Christmas in July, baby. It's nice and cold around here, I hope. hope it's not 100 degrees where you are, everywhere I seem to go, coast to coast. It's hot, it's humid, can't wait for fall and uh, winter. If you're by the beach, it's a little bit better. You fare a little bit more, but it's just hot everywhere. So I thought this would be fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything naughty or nice. And again, thank you to the folks over at Fresh Monkey Fiction for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, will this be the only Christmas in July video? Maybe not. Just remains to be seen. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.